What is going on you guys? It is Friday. We finally made it to the weekend. I'm currently at ESPN's Wide World of Sports. If you know what that is, it's in Florida. Right next to Disney. One of Disney's big massive like sports complexes. Tons of things go on here. Worlds for cheerleading. There's basketball, football, stuff. All type of sports you can imagine go on here. Many of you guys already know I coach gymnastics. I have been for a really long time and our first meet of the year is right here at the Wide World of Sports. Also, if you guys can hear in the background, I did. I did in fact, I brought Miley. You might be thinking, Christian, why would you possibly bring your semi-nice car to Disney? All cars get ruined in Disney parking lots. It's just a fact. Well, I brought Miley because today is actually the third Friday of the month, which if you know anything about that, Ace Cafe Vag Night is also tonight. So after we finish the meet, I'm going straight from here to there. Didn't have time to go home, so I had to bring Miley here. But I can't complain. Look at this parking spot. Look how much room. Look at all this room. Look at all of that room for my little car. I backed it all the way to the very back, so I got this really nice corner spot. So I should have no door dings. No one should be anywhere near Miley. We should be fine. Just look at all them sparkles. Also, if you are wondering, Christian, did you fix your little connector piece? Did you did you fix that yet? Is your car starting better? No, it's not. It still runs fine, but it's still rev starting because I haven't fixed it yet. I finally, after like two days of searching, um, I still recommended finding the part number on the clip, which is really smart. I should have done in the first place. Um, I got the part number off the clip. Put it on Google, found the clip, I ordered it. It won't be here till next week, which really sucks. Next week till like Thursday, which is stupid. Um, but until then, I can't fix the car. I Someone recommended, I thought about it too, cutting the one off the Jetta truck, soldering it into my car, and then when I get the new one, put it in that car. But I wanna put the new one in this car, and I don't wanna have to solder things twice. I mean, just, that's more work for me. So I'm gonna leave my car as is. It runs fine, it's just kind of annoying to start it up. So I'm gonna leave it as is, and then next week we'll install the new one, and we should be perfectly good to go. No more rev starting, good to go. All ready for Euro Tripper. So it's currently 2.13 now. The mumble's looking fantastic. Back in the car, missed you. I have to go, I will see you guys in a few hours. All right, two hours later in this epic sunset, we are back and we're all done, ready to go. Also proud to report that Miley has been untouched. Still a lot of space, no one's even over here. We are good to go, so thankful for my nice corner spot. Let's get a nice rev start for the vlog. It's probably one of the last few ones we get, so. Enjoy it while you got it, because next week, next week it's going away. All right, all mapped out. Got about a 31 minute drive to Ace Cafe Orlando. Ah, ah, no, no, no. All right, going straight up I4. I4 sucks. Switch me luck, hopefully you don't break the car on the way there. Made Ace Cafe, survived I4 just barely. A bunch of the dumbest drivers in Florida are always on I4. It's annoying, but got me a spot right up front. Ace Cafe is looking packed. Gorgeous smart one for sale. Lots and lots of cars, but I got in Jay Brown. Got Miley parked up all in the front. Lots of people tonight. Lots of new cars I haven't seen before. Lots of Beatles. Beetle, 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 Beetle. Tons of Beatles this time. And this gorgeous Mark 1. I wish mine. One day, I want another one. Casey wants one. So we will have one of these. I'm going to build it. It's going to be epic. Look at this thing. Every time I come here, there's always another buggy. That's just crazy. I don't know what motor this is, but it looks crazy and I like it. I'm a fan. I want to see this thing just run stuff over and do jumps. So clean. So clean. New Mark three. Mark three squad. A's. So I don't think Greg's coming tonight, but he messed up because there is a gorgeous CC right here. Look at this CC right here. Greg, where are you at, my dude? Where are you at? Got the lip, got the wheels, the R badges. I'm pretty sure had AP, APR badges as well. APR. I saw some big rubber brakes in the front. Where are they at? Look at these things. Woo. Greg, where are you at, my dude? You slacking right now. And of course, a little Mark III Cabrio. Got the lights. Look at this cluster. This cluster is dope. This cluster is so dope. Props to you. That's dope. There's a kind of Herbie here. It's not white. It's like a light blue. But it has a 53 and it's for sale. So if you want to buy it, there's your info right now. 1971 Beetle. If you want to buy it, there you are. Get Herbie. This thing is sick. This thing is so cool. Pull forward and cut hard. This thing's wild. I'm a fan of the truck. Mark II GLI. I'm pretty sure this one has a 24 valve VR6 in it, if I'm not mistaken. Cool car though. Mark VI's are just so nice. And I really like the paint match diffuser on this one. Good touch. Always love seeing this car and all the cool like rare pieces he has on it. Hey, Mark III squad. Nice. We got a Beetle coming in. It is gorgeous. Look at this thing. Gorgeous little notch back, I think it's called. Really nice. It's got fins. It has fins. I love it. So clean. 
So Mark here, what'd you say? In that sand rail, I said I know what engine it was. What was it? A Honda V6. Motor. Honda V6 in that sand rail. <laughs> I said I had no idea what it was. A Honda V6 motor. <laughs> Interesting. R32 rolling in. Woo! I think it's clean. Super clean Passat on some work Meisters. But what I'm more concerned about is this. It's a Corrado, but read this badge right here. This badge says TDI, and I'm pretty sure this is a 1.9 TDI in a Corrado. That's sick. That is so, so sick. Old school Zender wheels. This might be my favorite thing here. I love Corrados, and for it to be a TDI, that's just, that's insane. That is so, so cool. Props to the owner, this thing is dope. This thing is so dope. Mr. Euro, aka John's gorgeous VR6 on some 1552s. Got the Recaro interior, the old school Momo. This car is really cool. This car sounds so good. One of the Mark III squad. And then, of course, we have Mark on the RSs in his VR6 Mark III. One day, guys. One day, I will have one day. GLI train. I am vlogging train. Please stop. RSs and a VR6 swap, I think be happy for life. This thing's always awesome to see. Right hand drive, big turbo VR6, Mark II. I mean, you can't really go wrong with that. One day I'll have kids and my kids will have this because this is dope. This is much, much needed. Third cabrio for the night. This one is bag. Some cool little custom interior on this one. Something different. Nice little trunk setup going on. Oh, this man's here. Looking good. What's up, buddy? What's up, man? Those wheels are so polished. I love it. This thing's looking so, so good. If you don't remember, he used to have a cabrio with those same wheels. Drunk driver hit his car, destroyed it, and this is his new build. And it's coming out so, so good, so fast. Dude, it looks good, dude. Like, it looks really good. Thank you, bro. I like the black roof, too. I've always thought about doing that on my car. Uh, I didn't feel like painting it for now, so, you know, I... But it works, though. It works really good. Button. Dude, it's coming along so nice. I like this beetle for a few reasons. One, look how sparkly it is. Look at that. Matches my car. It's blue and it has this really nice white interior. I love the blue and the white together. That's such a good combo. Extremely clean, basically bone stock 12 year 6 Has the front lip, the badges, all of the fog lights and dummies. Side skirts, OEM wheels. All the OEM interior. This thing is like really, really clean. Needs a paint job, but like still very clean. I really like the color of this car and these wheels. I love wheels that are different and these Porsche wheels I've never seen before, but they are really quite nice. Almost like the uh, the face poke look, but still the step lip. Really nice. If you haven't seen them before, here you go. New, the brand new Atlas. I like it. Looks mean. Looks quite mean. Waiting to see someone bag one of these things, but I like these things. They're pretty cool. I like the wheels. Looks almost like BMW wheels, honestly. Like the, uh, the X5 wheels. Pretty similar. These look cool. I like them. Yes. 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 It's so sick. It's so sick. And then just tons and tons of air cooled goodness up here. Can't forget Miley up here just hanging out, looking good. I haven't seen a chop top car in quite some time. There's so much work that goes into doing that. My buddy John Ludwig has a, a Corvair. You guys have probably seen it. I'll put a picture right here on the screen. But there's so much work that goes into dropping the roof down, even like an inch. It's crazy. Pretty cool though. I said this was a notchback, or I thought it was. This is actually a Volvo. A Volvo 1800E. Yeah. Really cool car though. I love the fins. I would love a classic car with some fins on it. This thing is crazy though. Super clean. Look at this thing. Like, this is awesome. I love some of this. Cool, unique stuff. Different. I love different. Out of all the cars here tonight though, I think this is my favorite. Like this thing. This thing is just so cool. Either this or the TDI Swap Corrado. I don't know. But this thing is so dope. Something about Red Mark 3s. They just look so, so good all the time. I need wheels that have a mirror finish like this. Because look at this. This, this is awesome. I love it. Another one. The squad is out here tonight. Straight riding dirty. At this point, my hands are getting extremely cold. Go inside, get some food, warm up, go outside in a little while. Not a Volkswagen this time, but this is still really, really nice. And there's a bike in the back. That's pretty sick. If you guys remember, last time I was in this room, it was completely empty, and now there's literally bikes, and it's like a fully set up like art studio. It's so sick. Nice seating area. There's bikes over there. There's a bunch of art on the walls here. Bikes, more bikes. Super awesome setup. 
This is so cool. Such a cool space. I said it before, I'm not the biggest motorcycle fan, but this bike right here, I dig it. This bike is awesome. Like old school. I think it's an old school Ducati. I know I know it's a Ducati. I think it's old. I'm not sure what year it is, but like this thing looks so cool. The crazy pipes in the back. I love the like the the side mount for the, the wheel. It's just a cool bike. Really, really cool bike. Honestly, this building is like my dream house. I would have the whole first floor be like my garage, shop, workshop, all that awesome stuff. Second floor would be like the living room, the kitchen, all the bedrooms. Like this would be the coolest house of like all time. Like just imagine this being your master bedroom. Like this is your view of the city. You have like the bed and stuff over there, like your living room and your bedroom. Like this would be the coolest bedroom of like literally all time. Parking lot's cleared out a bunch, but there's still some cars here. Mark and John are still here. We got some cars out here. My favorite bus or van or truck, whatever you want to call it, is still here. My is over there. Just some good cars left. Uh, this isn't Volkswagen related, but there's a Viper pulling in, and I absolutely love Vipers. Look at it. I am a fan. It's so nice. It has a big old cam in it, sounds like. I'm pretty sure it has a BBS wheels on it, too. So nice. So the TDI Corrado has since left. What do you guys think is cooler? The TDI Swap Corrado? or the Vanagon truck. Probably my two favorite things here, aside from the Viper that just pulled in, but what do you guys think? Crotto or truck? My Viper is leaving. Maybe he'll do a big burnout. Send it. Send it. Send it, send it, send it, send it, send it, send it, send it. Lame. Lame. Gonna do one last lap around the parking lot and then head home. I hope the camera does this color justice, but this color is absolutely gorgeous. This is like the deepest blue ever. It's got HREs on it. Expensive wheels. I like it. This thing's sick. It's just so freaking cool. I can't get over it. It's just so cool. Now this isn't a Volkswagen, but I actually like this car quite a bit, and I'm pretty sure it's static. The fitment's super, super nice. When these cars first came out, I hated these cars, these Lexuses. But this one's actually grown to me a lot. This one's really nice. All right, that's gonna do it for Ace Cafe. I'll see you guys back at the house. Made it back home safe and sound. Gonna end the vlog here. It's quite late. I have to be up early tomorrow. Um, Ace Cafe was really nice tonight. It was kind of a, a different crowd than the normal cars I usually see. The truck was awesome. The TDI swap crowd was awesome. Tons of Beatles this time. Just overall, a whole lot of new cars I haven't seen in a long time, and they're all really, really nice. I don't know for sure if there'll be any more vlogs for this weekend because tomorrow we have another gymnastics meet um, starting at like 8 a.m till about 11 and then another session from 3 to like 6 or 7 in the afternoon or even later than that so I don't know if I have any time to vlog tomorrow and then Sunday the same thing so you may get more vlogs this weekend or you may not I don't really know but I will try my best I don't want to put some like this random video out there but if I can squeeze some car stuff in between uh, meets and stuff I'll try my best to do that thank you guys so much for watching as always if you enjoyed the video hit the thumbs up if you're new subscribe to be thankful every single day I'll see you guys next time peace out